The qualities you develop when you meditate are wealth for the mind, and it's a safe form of wealth, the kind of wealth where other people can see that you have it, and they can take it away from you. That's not safe for you at all, because many times they'll do exactly what they can, and they have no principles in what they might do to take it away from you. Whereas a wealth that's hidden inside, that's safe. The qualities of mindfulness, alertness, these are a form of wealth. Qualities of goodwill, compassion, these are a form of wealth too. Composure, that's a form of wealth. All the good qualities you need to develop as you're meditating, they enrich the mind. What this means is that you're not left out not knowing what to do in Thai, they use the word jai jon, jon jai. Literally means a poor heart, but it means that you're at your wit's end. You don't know what to do in a situation, but when you've got good qualities in mind, it makes it a lot easier to think of what's the right thing to do. You can step back a bit and look at the situation and come from a position of strength, come from a position of safety inside. And you're more likely to choose the right thing. So try to enrich your mind by meditating. When the time gets dry, when the meditation gets dry, go think about the qualities that refresh it. And you begin to realize you've got lots of resources in here already, because that's how inner wealth is developed. It's not developed by taking anything from outside, it's developed by developing your inner resources. We've got the potential for all these good things inside. And once they're developed, then they can provide us with protection, they can provide us with happiness, they can provide us with all kinds of good things. It's just a matter of taking the time to develop them, and as the Buddha said, to delight in developing. All too often our priorities are backwards. We delight in our defilements, and then we can pull away from doing things that are going to require work but will be good for us in the long run. We have to switch that around and know that we're doing something that has long-term benefits. And learning to keep yourself buoyed up as you as you do it. That's an important skill in the meditation. To keep you encouraged, to keep you on track. To keep reminding you that this is the right place to go. There's that story of the monk who was in the forest when there was a festival off in the distance. His meditation wasn't going very well and he was thinking depressing thoughts. Here other people know how to good time and know how to, how to have a good time and he's not having a good time at all. Suddenly this Dave appeared to him and said, Look, do you know how many people are jealous of you? You're going in a good direction. A lot of people are going downward. They may be having fun, but they're going downward. And if they know what's what, they'll be jealous of you, the fact that you've got the opportunity to go up, and you're taking that opportunity. So remember, you're enriching the mind with all the things that it needs. Inner food, inner clothing, inner shelter, inner medicine. They can all be developed right here.